Hello YouTube. Um, I did a learning series on vacuum tubes and amplifiers and it was actually quite a lot of fun uh, sharing my knowledge with you guys. Hopefully you watched that and learned something. Um, and I didn't, I didn't really know what I was going to do next. Uh, but one of my friends on uh, YouTube, 1968 Hambone, he said since it looked like I uh, didn't mind too much posing professor uh, he wondered if he could suggest something and he suggested magnetos uh, I kinda made a joke with him that nobody really knows how magnetos work they're just kinda like magic but that's not true um, they're actually very simple uh, it's kind of a um, it's a, uh, a magneto is nothing more than a, a transformer uh, with a few unique properties to it um, so anyway let's get this little mini series started this is an older magneto uh, from a Briggs and Stratton uh, three and a half horse vertical shaft and lawnmower engine um, there's an iron core which is this outside square looking piece it's actually an E the center of it is right here it's a uh, Basically, you have the two legs here, and there's a center leg up through the center. That's made out of laminated iron core. Um, this is two coils of wire wrapped in a rubbery type um, material to keep it sealed against water. Um, some of these are hard phenolic, some of them are plastic. Anything that to keep the vibration in the coil down so that the wire doesn't um, rub against one another and uh, damage the insulation and to keep moisture out. <clears throat> You'll notice there's some some wires coming out of here. This wire would have gone to the points underneath the flywheel. Um, this terminal here that has a little remnant of wire twisted on it is the high voltage lead that would go to the spark plug. And then there's two other wires coming out of here with, this, with a terminal on it that would be under one of the screws. That's the ground terminal. Basically, the wire that goes to the spark plug is a very long, many, many turns of a very fine wire. The wire that goes to the points is wrapped right in there with it, and it's a heavier wire with shorter turns. Now, I'll get into the greater detail of the functioning of these with some diagrams here in a moment. But basically, what happens is, we use this one as an example. This is the flywheel and magneto out of a weed whacker. This one has only one terminal on it, plus the ground, which is the, the uh, iron core, which is right here. Um, this is an electronic magneto. There are no points. There's a little circuit inside here, and I'm not sure what it consists of, but basically how it works is as a voltage builds up to a certain point it fires exactly the same point every time and the manufacturers have figured out the values of the components so that it will fire when they want it to you have no control over timing with one of these and when they go you throw them away <clears throat> whereas with the old style if it doesn't start it could be the points you can change the points and if it, you may have spark then um, it's basically if you wanted to test this you test between ground and this terminal you should have a resistance reading of probably several thousand ohms and if you go from ground to this reading to this uh, terminal you should have a reading slightly higher maybe hundred thousand ohms or up into the megs um, don't try testing voltage with your digital ohmmeter voltmeter on this and spinning it over it's such high voltage that it will damage your meter so anyway, back to the theory of how these work. In the flywheel, this is an aluminum flywheel, there's a magnet right here, cast in. This side is thick, but there's no magnet in this side. This is just a counterweight so that it will spin and be balanced. Now you can see that there's a magnet because that'll stick to it. But on this side, it doesn't stick. So the magnet is here. So the basic theory of operation is, the magneto is mounted very close to the flywheel, probably about ten thousandths of an inch clearance between them. 
as the flywheel turns past the iron core, a voltage is induced inside the magneto. With the electronic type, as that voltage climbs to a certain level, it will collapse the magnetic field and spark the plug. <clears throat> now with the older style points, same basic principle. As the flywheel turns and the magnet goes past the core, it will induce a voltage in the heavier winding, the one that goes to the points, probably about 100 volts or so. As that passes and that voltage builds up to 100 point volts, the points are closed. Right when it's time for the plug to spark, the points will open, the magnetic field will collapse, and then it will generate a higher voltage out the spark plug side. Okay, this is basically what the windings look like inside the magneto. This is the iron core, which was the E-shaped piece of metal that bolts to the engine. And these are the two coils of wire that are inside the, the rubber or phenolic um, large round piece that the wires come out of. The many turns of fine wire, one side of that coil is ground, the other side is the high tension lead that goes to the spark plug. It's the fat one that you will get a terrible electrical shock off from if you decide to touch that while it's running or pull it off from the engine. There's another coil of wire in a magneto that's slightly heavier and it has fewer turns. One side of that is also grounded. The other side goes to the points. 